Remember that steam is a very interesting and important utility used in the chemical industry. So first things first, steam, well, we know that it plays a crucial role in heating, driving turbines. There are three main types of lines of steam, and they are typically categorized due to their pressure. And I'm talking about low pressure steam, medium pressure steam, and high pressure steam. Now from this, I will say that typically we have the low pressure or normal pressure steam. It can be below or vacuum steam, but typically above one bar or two from atmospheric conditions. And we have the high pressure steam, which is way much more efficient. Higher temperatures will last longer before condensing. But this really depends on the type of industries that you are working in. So ensure to check out the specific steam lines that you may have in your chemical plant. We're going to focus our attention into low pressure steam, uh, typically between 0.1 to 3 bars and typical temperatures are between 110 all the way to 150. Once again, it really depends on the industry. The common uses are for space heating, radiators in the building, maybe maintaining a temperature in winter and such. For food processing, stated pasteurization, sterilization, all these type of processes that require a mild temperature, yet a steam condition. 